we're Daniel and Adam Jack, two cousins bringing our one-of-a-kind tourist accommodation concept to Scotland's scenic Isle of Cumbria. We're right in the midst of building our very first alternative eco-cabin and we're documenting every step of the journey. Alright everyone and welcome to the third episode of our Eco Cabin Build Journey. In this episode we'll continue following the cabin build as the front door, internal walls, electrics and plumbing are all installed and Daniel and I will attempt to construct a bed. The key word there being attempt so stick around if you want to see us making a meal out of it. If you haven't seen episodes 1 and 2 do be sure to check them out first but for now let's head to the workshop to see how the build is coming along. So this was the first time that we were actually able to step inside of something that resembled a cabin. Literally months of planning, delays and design tweaks had taken us to this point and you can see how we feel. There was something quite special about seeing our drawings come to life for the very first time. But of course, there's always time for a couple of bad jokes. So can you picture yourself here doing a <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my crib, MTV. <laughs> Two of four roof panels on. Here's the window frame. Not much of a view just now. So the hive, Adam. The hive, yes. The hive is coming together. That's quite spacious. To give you an idea, I'm in the bathroom. Aye. That'll be bigger than your bathroom at all to be good. Fast forward a couple of weeks and the cabin had totally transformed again. Next up, it was time to get the electrics installed inside and our large cladding finish onto the exterior walls of the cabin, which really started to add some character. One of the main parts of the brief which we gave to the architects and builders is that the cabin must be built with sustainable materials and locally sourced wherever possible. All the timbers and plywood are Forest Stewardship Council or FSC certified and the insulation was a market leading ecotherm as you can see now. It's important for the cabins to have a highly efficient thermal performance because if you know Scotland you'll know that the temperature can drop pretty dramatically at this time of year. Again it's amazing to see the plans for the inside space come to fruition. There's the kitchen that should be arriving soon. Luckily we have Colin the electrician on hand as we wouldn't even know where to start with the electrics without him. And it's important to get these things right the first time around before the birch ply wall finishes are nailed in. Next up were the sliding doors. By the way, check out that new exterior finish and you can see the large cladding in all its glory. Off with the temporary doors and the guys got to work installing the permanent one. Again, this really added to the character of the cabin's front facing. Obviously the glass panes are still to go in, but it really helped start to imagine what it would be like for guests sitting in the cabin and looking out to the countryside on the Isle of Cumbria. Anyway, here's how the cabin currently sits. Bear in mind that what you're seeing out the window is still the warehouse where the cabin is being built. Saying that, the view isn't too bad for an industrial estate to be fair. Hello there! Hello, hi. <laughs> So, what's been happening with the cabins then? Oh, put me in this spot now. <laughs> um, so, I think the last time that we would have shared any visuals on the cabin, the birch ply finishing walls uh, will have been half complete. So, since then, they have been complete the whole way around the main living space. Um, so, that's exciting. Obviously, all the electrics are in. Um, we've got the partition wall that's set up in the end there. Um, and the uh, sort of bed head there. Um, I'll just take over and do with this. So, in this wee bit, it's obviously yet to be clad yet with the, the birch ply, but um, what we were going for was a kind of like smart storage wherever possible. Um, so, the bed's basically going to sit here, a uh, double bed, uh, and this is a little space for uh, you know mobile phone storage for when it's charging overnight or you know glass of water or anything like that. Uh, and there's going to be uh, shelf space up here as well. Uh, and then underneath the bed, there's going to be smart storage for all of your uh, travel cases as well. So uh, maximising the available space uh, that you're going to have uh, when you come stay. Uh, moving forward into here, so the other side of the partition wall is a wee kind of cupboard space. So, um, and there's going to have like the electric box, the water boiler, a um, couple of shelves for stock storage um, and some hanging space for jackets. Uh, and then as you come into the bathroom space, uh, we're going to have like a really nice uh, running door here on a, on a runner, or a sliding door should I say, um, and that's going to uh, slide into this wee, uh, you know, right into the wall here, which is pretty smart. Um, that's going to look amazing when it's done. And then not too much to see in the bathroom, 
but uh, yet yeah, the uh, floor panels and wall panels are not here yet, uh, but hopefully by the next time we check in, uh, they will be, so that's pretty much where we're at. Super. So yeah, what are we doing today? We are heading up to the warehouse again. Uh, this is probably our 7th or 8th visit, maybe? Oh, I've kind of lost count, but now we're actually going via our Drossen today uh, because I've got my second uh, COVID vaccine booked in, uh, so that was quite handy. It's just the next town down from Stevenson, so I'm going to quickly go there, get my shot, and then uh, we're going to head over to check up on things uh, and we've got something else to do today which I'm sure uh, I'm going to put Adam on the spot and he can tell you about. <laughs> yeah so basically um, the cabin when we last left it, it was pretty much a shell but all the sort of internal wood finishes and everything have been done and now we're just kind of getting to the stage where it's let's get it kitted out so uh, to our knowledge since the last time the kitchen has been delivered uh, and we've also had a delivery of the double bed now Daniel and I have pretty much been Kind of just looking at ways to, if we could ever get our hands dirty and get involved, then we'd be happy to do it. But a lot of it's sort of out with our remit. But you know, taking the instructions from a, a bed and putting it together, what could go wrong? So uh, <laughs> we're going up to try and put the bed together today. So uh, I get involved with that, uh, and obviously just uh, catch up with everyone up at the, the workshop just to see how it's going. Uh, outside we've got the cabin which is pretty much uh, sitting like a shell at the moment but uh, in the workshop quite a lot of the contents of the cabins actually arrived which is brilliant news. Uh, here we're looking at the sort of orange paint that's going to go out on the front of the cabin uh, and then this is a sort of perforated aluminium sheet which is obviously in the nice hive uh, shape uh, which is going to go over it. So that's for the cabin uh, externals. Over here, shower heads, water heaters, oven, uh, all packaged up, ready to go. And then in the back here, we've also got the sort of orange splash back. This is actually to go on the uh, kitchen splash back, so kind of just like this section here. Uh, and then over the back there in more boxes, we've got the rest of the kitchen. So it's all happening, man. Let's see what we've got over here with the bed and the kitchen. So yeah, we're kind of taking over the warehouse at the moment. I'll show you under here that one. So obviously, under here, sneak peek if you can look in, there's just some of the kitchen units there. Um, obviously in that nice black, which will contrast well with the, the orange. Yep, then we've got the big uh, sort of larder cupboard uh, here, which was more expensive than I wanted it to be, but anyway. <laughs> How are you feeling about putting together the, the bed then? Yeah, uh, you get your Allen keys handy. <laughs> I've got my bike pump. <laughs> That'll do anything. <laughs> yeah, we've got some of the sanitary wear there, uh, toilet, sink, etc. Um, yep, bed in many different parts. So we're probably going to go into a nice time lapse of us putting it together. It's going to take us about six hours, but we're going to put it into a nice 15 seconds for you. Bye. So here's the moment that you've all been waiting for, us attempting to build a bed. As you can see, safety first, and I'm looking very fashionable in my high-vis vest. Firstly, we made sure everything was there that was supposed to be and got all the materials in place. Then we got the drill out, and here's what happened next. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Yep, what you're looking at is the moment that I realised I'd drilled the bed frame right into the floor of the cabin. Nice one. Oh, and do you remember this bit? <laughs> Taking the instructions from uh, a bed and putting it together, what could go wrong? Not to worry though, we managed to get there in the end. One unplanned hole in the bed frame and one hole in the floor later, and we were back on track and it was smooth sailing from then on. Only joking, of course it wasn't. Well, do we have a bed? Confirmed structure. Right, there you go. The grand reveal. How about that? How did it go? Uh, <laughs> there was a few mishaps, I won't lie to you. Um, namely? Namely, the, there is a small chip in the side of the white bed, uh, but I'm hoping we can patch it up. Yeah. Um, 
What was the other mess up? Can I say I'm not Oh, same by the bill. Right, he's off the phone. You're not getting away without explaining this. <laughs> right, so basically, um, there was two different sizes of screws. Uh, and we were sort of drilling the uh, different bits of wood in. Now, as we were opening up the big sort of packages that they got delivered in, there was a few random screws lying about the, the workshop, and I just picked one up to sort of take away the uh, sellotape, and it was slightly larger than our large screws. Uh, so I've inadvertently went and drilled it in, and it sort of came out the other side of the bed. So, <laughs> With the result of screwing the bed into the floor. I don't remember that happening. That uh, it definitely happened. So, here's the evidence. Don't know if you can see that, but a nice big, nice big hole there with some white paint residue on it. Yep, that came from this. <laughs> Otherwise, all good. Great success, few mishaps, but we'll forget about them. But I can just picture myself now. Oh, yeah, nice wee lie down in here. Um, up here we've got our little shelving bit, a uh, couple of phone chargers in there, under bed storage space for a little suitcase in your bags. Perfect. How about that? <laughs> Forget about the chip. What about the mattress? Maybe we'll one of them though. Aye, probably get a mattress thinking yeah, about it. Might yeah. make it a bit more comfy. Aye. So we've got the instructions here for the under bed storage. Uh, it's got like a couple of the metal side panels, some screws and all this talk of biscuits got me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Wee penguin or something? Ready for a cuppa. Actually, Donna did offer me one when I was in there, but I did say no. See I, who, I see who's the favourite then, eh? I filled up my water bottle uh, and I was straight back out. Maybe still on the cards, to be fair. I could go a cuppa, not gonna lie. <laughs> So Daniel, it's all happening uh, over the next couple of weeks on the inside of the cabin with the kitchen, the bathroom and the flooring but talk us through what we've got going on for the exterior. Alright, so as you might be able to see there, uh, the exterior is getting a bit of character, a bit of colour. Um, obviously with this uh, cabin one being the hive, um, we've got a lovely bright orange tone there so we're just getting our first coat on the now above the base coat um, and then obviously it's a bit kind of in your face at the moment but um, as you remember uh, we're having the nice uh, aluminium uh, panel sheets over it with the nice uh, hexagon shapes shaped perforates on it um, so yeah really exciting to, to see it get a bit of colour now uh, a bit of character so as Daniel said, a splash of colour and the hive really did start to get a bit of personality. The orange strip was really the first glimpse into the theme aspect of the cabin. The exterior of the cabin is going to be kept pretty minimalist, but we're looking forward to kitting out the interior space with all sorts of bee, honey and hive related elements. And to be honest, we aren't too far away from getting to that stage. As we drop back into the workshop, you can see at this stage it was still pretty jam-packed with the contents of the kitchen, the bathroom and pretty much everything we needed to get the cabin into a finished state. Unfortunately, the reality was that we suffered from a couple of Covid absences at this point, which set us back on the construction side of things, so we used this time to get the final foundations of the cabin in order. As you know, we had the electrical wiring in place, but the next and final step before we could get the bathroom and kitchen installed was to sort out the plumbing. Next time we were up at the workshop, we caught up with the plumber Jamie as he worked on the first fit of the plumbing and got the cabin ready for the joiners arriving. There was tons of work that needed done that day and not a lot of time to get it done, so naturally I'll pass it over to Daniel to see him hard at work with a coffee in one hand and a biscuit in the other. So Daniel, enjoying your wee coffee there? Lovely, we're very well looked after this morning here <laughs> at the warehouse. Thanks very much to Kate and Donna who are looking after us with biscuits and coffee. Providing the goods? Absolutely, well needed as well. But yeah, today I uh, thought we'd come and drop in. We've got the plumbers down, uh, Jamie and Jamie, who we'll see in a minute. Jamie squared. Jamie squared. I'm cutting that out. <laughs> So yeah, the boys are in doing uh, some of the first fit stuff 
uh, for the plumbing, uh, which includes the bathroom and the kitchen. Um, so I guess we can go and have a wee look and see what's going on. So don't get too excited seeing that the kitchen unit's in. Uh, that is only in just for uh, sort of positioning and first bit stuff for the uh, for the, the sink plumbing. Um, but I want to have a look. Also, before we have a look in the bathroom, uh, the sort of fire retardant varnish is, is now going up on the wall, so that's bringing the colour into a, a bit of a warmer tone, um, which looks really nice and obviously keeps all of our guests safe um, from any fire risk. <laughs> Uh, and here we've got the, uh, well, Robert said it was a futuristic microwave, <laughs> but it's certainly not. It's uh, the Eco Water uh, Boiler, I believe. Um, and then here we've got some of the, the plumbing works going on. Um, so we've got the sanitary wear here, so we've got the toilet and sink unit. Um, and then we are the shower base um, ready to drip it down. We've got some of the drainage um, exits. So. <laughs> It's very technical yeah. terms. Does <laughs> get any jobs going? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. If we look at the kind of bird's eye view plan of the cabin, um, this little bathroom area here. Um, so this is where you know your big sliding door is going to be. That's the wee utility cupboard. Um, and inside the bathroom, it's fairly spacious. We've got uh, the toilet unit there, the uh, sink unit there. My phone's going, but hold on a minute. And the uh, lovely uh, shower uh, space there. Um, so, I'm no plumber, but uh, i tell you who is. Jamie through there. Uh, we'll go and ask him what's going on. <laughs> all right, Jamie. How you doing? What's been happening today then? Just uh, carrying out first fix, just getting all the waste pipes in the right positions, getting the shower, I'm going to bed the shower tray down as well. Um, I just get all the prep work done for the joiner to basically sheet it with plasterboard and then me come in and do the Kind of final fix, and then we're doing the in the, the cupboard there. We're doing the hot water, uh, kind of for the it's a hot water kind of wee storage unit which does all the hot water for the sinks and stuff. So I just get all the prep work done, um, ready for the join up basically. Smashing. So it's all happening inside the cabin over the next couple of weeks. Do join us in Build Journey Episode 4 where we get all the kitchen appliances, the bathroom wet wall panels and the sanitary wear as well as the flooring installed and totally transforming the inside space once again. Next time we'll also be sharing our journey as we painstakingly navigate our way through the joys of the planning permission process. Cheers and speak soon!